you guys, it's Nassim here. Now after using the Galaxy Z Flip 4 for about a week now, the one thing that kept coming to my mind whenever I was using the Z Flip 4 on a day to day basis was this one simple statement that I think wraps it up pretty perfectly. And that statement is, I think that the Galaxy Z Flip 4 is a phone that really goes against the grain. And I say this because the Galaxy Z Flip 4 is a phone that basically looks the exact same as the Z Flip 3. But instead of focusing on looks, Samsung decided to improve on the user experience and basically fix everything that was wrong with the Z Flip 3. The Z Flip 4 has a much better battery that can actually last you all day when compared to last year's model. It handles One UI much better, giving it a cleaner yet more sleek feel. And it has a much better processor that handles heavy duty apps much better and gets hot much less frequently. And this is the reason why I say that the Z Flip 4 goes against the grain because it didn't try to do too much, it didn't try to look too different, and it didn't try to be flashy just so you could buy it for the style. Instead, Samsung decided to block out all the noise and try to make the Z Flip 4 a really good daily driver. And based on my experience, it worked. And despite my reasons for why I think that the Z Flip 4 is a premium experience, I wanted to share my experience with you guys to help you decide whether or not it's actually worth it for you. And now the first thing that I want to touch on when it comes to the Z Flip 4 is the cameras. Now when we look at the daytime outside photos on the Z Flip 4, we can see that these photos were very comparable to some of the top tier heavy hitters in the smartphone market. The pictures were very vibrant bright and even had the right amount of sharpness which resulted in really great looking photos. Even when I took pictures of things like trees or other things of that nature, you can see that it had a little bit more sharpness but it still wasn't to the point where it looked really fake and I really enjoyed that. The selfie photos were also really great whenever the lighting was good, my skin tone was pretty accurate, my face wasn't too filtered, and the blemishes weren't too harsh which made me want to take more selfies. And now when we look at the daytime inside photos, I would say that there was a dip in quality but not too much, like whenever the lighting was good, you could tell that the sharpness was still there, but whenever the lighting wasn't as good, I could tell that there was a lot of graininess which took away from the overall quality of the photo. And when we look at the selfies I took, I would say that it was pretty much the same outcome but on a worse scale. The graininess was pretty bad and my skin tone would get discolored whenever the lighting wasn't great. Now when it came to the outside night mode photos, I would say that this is where the pictures were really great. Like right here, you can see that the sharpness was amazing, the added lighting was amazing, and the natural color was really good. Also the selfie mode photos were pretty good but nothing special, the added light was still good, but the overall quality wasn't as top tier as the main camera. Now when it comes to the video quality on the Z Flip 4, I would say that overall was pretty good, especially whenever I was in good lighting. In the daytime, this was most likely the case, and at night it was a little harder, but still was pretty good. Now after the cameras, the next thing that I want to touch on when it comes to the Z Flip 4 is the display. And I feel like this screen pushed the barrier of the series as a whole because it was a pretty significant increase in quality when compared to last year's Z Flip 3. I also love that Samsung decided to keep the bigger quality outer screen. Whenever I needed to do simple things like check the time or even notifications, all I had to do was pick up my phone and look at it without having to open it. I also love the extra customizations like being able to put your picture as a home screen. I feel like it gave me much more freedom and was great attention to detail. Now when we look at the main screen, I again really appreciated the fact that I could be much more careless with it than last year's version. Even when I drop it, I never really had to worry because I knew that it was durable enough to not crack on the first drop. Another thing that I really appreciated was the fact that the crease in the middle wasn't that noticeable at all. Like as you can see from my point of view whenever I use my Z Flip, you can hardly notice the crease and this was a huge upgrade from previous models. But besides the durability of the screen, I also really enjoyed the resolution, the brightness, and even the overall quality of what I was watching. So now that we've talked about the display of the Z Flip 4, the next thing that I wanted to talk about was the battery. And I would usually get 4-5 to five hours of on screen time when using my Z Fold 4 and this was one of the phones where it was 50-50 when it came to lasting all day. I would usually end my day with about 10% battery left which was pretty great since I had moderately heavy usage and I would be doing things like watching YouTube, playing games, and even doing extra work on it. The battery and the durability was the ultimate reasons for why I would recommend this phone as a daily driver because when you think about it, those are the two most important things that you need to get your phone through the day. And now the last thing that I really enjoyed about the Galaxy Z Flip 4 is the speakers. Now whenever I was watching content, movies, or listening to podcasts, I would say that the speakers are pretty average at best. And whenever I was getting ready for work, all I had to do was listen to my favorite podcast while I was getting ready, and the quality was pretty good. And to show you guys what I mean, here are some examples of different sound tests through the Z Flip 4 speakers.
And there it is, my review on the Galaxy Z Flip 4 after one week of use. Now, let me know down in the comments, would you guys buy the Z Flip 4 over any other phone in the price range? Let me know. And if you guys made it to the end of this video, I'd like to say thank you for sticking around. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe, it'll be very appreciated. And as far as social media, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. Yeah.